Hello everyone, welcome to another PS3 modding tutorial and this will only work probably for Hen only and you might have to be on a 4.91 or lower for this free store to work. We're going to install the gold store again just like I did before but obviously we're remaking the video. So gonna go to system settings and I'm gonna show you what firmware I'm running and then we go to system information and you can see right there I'm running a 4.91 so this might not work for 4.92 but you'll have to test that out for the gold store yourself if it doesn't work just reinstall your HFW and get hen again and I'm not sure for custom firmware users either so it didn't work for 4.91 even on that so I don't know if it'll work 4.92 evil map. So yeah, but it's just install it if you want, and if it doesn't work, just reinstall your firmware. And yeah, just don't do the store. Just don't get the store unless you've downgraded your firmware. But it's going to be pretty hard for him because I don't think you can. But I don't know. All right, so there we go. We've checked that. Make sure your date and time is up to date. Uh, you will need, like I said, I'm on hen, and uh, you will probably need um, multi-man. So, <coughs> you will need multi-man actually, because you need to enable an, a setting in in multi-man. Uh, but first I'm going to do is enable hen. I've got the latest hen by the look of it, but I'm still running 4.91. And uh, so once we've done that, uh, we're going to go into homebrews. I've, I've got them all in um, folders as you can see. Here's my homebrew. I've got my multi man right here. And there we go. So once you're on multi man, uh, head over to settings and you can use the analog stick or the arrow keys or D pad to. You can either scroll right to the bottom, or you can just push up, and it will take you directly to this, uh, to the bottom of the uh, settings. And you need to rewrite access to the dev flash, but you can just, if you want, scroll all the way down to it. So we click X on it, and we want to enable that. And once we enable that, all we gotta do is just quit out. All right. By the way, you have you only need to enable it once because it does auto disable, I believe, when you restart the console. So the reason why my hen logo, my hen icon's gone as well for some reason. So I'm not sure if I did put this on my website where you could download it directly. If not, grab yourself a USB and a computer. But I will try the uh, web browser way on the PS3 first. Your hen icon logo will come back. You know the enable thing. Um, when you restart the console, it will be there again. So let's go to Internet Browser. And if you just don't want the gold store, you can go ahead and grab the PKGI store. I have a video on that already. That is an easier store, but the gold store might have more games and stuff that you can't get from the PKGI. So yeah, that's why we're doing this. So we load it up, we hit Triangle, File, Address Entry. I'm going to type in www. and we're going to put my website, so www.flamingimmortal.com Alright, we hit enter. Alright, takes you to this screen right here, which is my main site. Uh, we're looking at this part here though, the Immortal Modding site, which I also made. So this is where you would download everything directly. Um, and like I said, the site will change over time, it might. I did put the free stores in here. They are located in, in here, so we click on it. And then here we go, here's the gold store, what we've got. We've got it right here, as you can see, there is some other stores you can try out, like the, the Zex Fox ones are pretty 
good one. You got the Zuko store and you got the Dark in store. Or the Dark store. And then there's the PKGI and the PS2 CV store, which is basically a PKGI, but it adds more PS2 or classic games to the store. Which is actually good, but the icon changes and all that. But it's up to you which one you want to go with. Uh, so here's the gold store. As you can see, I've got it set to custom firmware 4.82 and 4.84, as I have not updated this uh, website, or, yeah, I've not updated it for a while, this one. Again, it might not work for 4.92, so I'm on 4.91, so I'm okay to go ahead with this. And if you are too, you can go ahead and follow along. And if you want to follow along to see if it works for your firmware, you can go ahead and try that too. So let's click on it. Uh, it is 600 and something megabytes. So here it is right here. If you get like a download error page, take out the, where it says HTTPS, take out the S and then keep the link the same and hit enter. Try it that way and if it doesn't work, then you might have to just go on the computer and download it that way. Or do it with your phone. So this should pop up as well, right here. And because we've got dev, access to the dev, um, We'll have this dev blind right here, files, so we actually want to go to dev hdd0, and want to go to packages and save it there, and there you go, it starts downloading to your um, PS3, but if you was unable to do it that way, I could show you the PC way quickly as well, so we'll be right back, okay, so on the PC, I have it here already, um, so it's right here, but if we go on to the uh, internet, and we go to the website, like I said, you could get it through the main site, or you can also go into this one. This one has it right here, PS3 mod slash content, uh, this is the free store one by the way. Here it goes, takes you to it, and here it is right here, the gold store, and there's some more stores actually you can get as well. So check them out, try them out, see if they work. I know the PKGI one works for sure. Not sure about the gold store on the uh, latest one though. So here we go. It takes you to a Google Drive. And here's all the different ones. So the hen ones with hen on it is for hen of course. And the ones without hen are for custom firmware. So this is the one I'm using right here. And you don't have to get this because when I got this it actually made me reinstall hen so I didn't bother getting that plus the gold store is kind of broken like not, all, not everything's gonna work in the gold store by the way loads of links are broken and it won't get fixed as the store is no longer being uh, paid for or updated so yeah unfortunately so the links are mainly broken so a lot of them are but it has a lot of PS2 games in, and PS3, so, and PS1 as well, and PSP games. So, as DLCs as well, the Gold Store does. Uh, so, there it is. There, you just click on that, and you just hit download right here. If you want to download all of them, go ahead and you can download all of them if you want. <laughs> uh, 3.8 was the latest. Because at one point, this was a paid um, store, but obviously they made it free. So... That's kind of good, I guess, because no one really wants to pay for these uh, stores, especially in 2025. So, yeah. But if you want a really good store, you might have to go find one that's payable. And no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> We're just sticking with the gold store. Plus, I've used it for quite a while, and I know exactly a lot of things in there. So, yeah. So yeah, once you have that, you've got it right here, you extract it, and you just go ahead and put this on a USB drive on a FAT32 on the root of the USB, or you can FTP it with FileZilla. Don't worry about this part here for this one, I did not get that. I just went ahead and installed this one right here. Because this one, for some reason, made me reinstall Hen, and I lost the gold store, so I wouldn't recommend installing that. Because I did, and I lost everything. So, yeah, I'm not sure why I did that. Maybe because it doesn't support my firmware? That could be a reason. Like, this file right here could not support my firmware. Not this one. This one works. 
for uh, the Hanamon because I've had it before. But that's enough uh, talk about that. Let's go back to showing you the uh, the way I'm downloading it on the uh, PS3 itself. To be honest, I actually already have this, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel. But let if you don't have it, go ahead and let it finish. Um, so now where you would find it at is if we go to package manager and install package files you would see it at system storage right there so go ahead and install it because I have it on a USB stick I have it here and for me it's right here so we'll go ahead and install it like this this is why we need to enable the dev flash because if you haven't you'd be getting an error when you try and install this package so that's why it needs to be access to the dev flash because that's where the uh, the files save to or some of the files save to so there you go hopefully you know now and it's not just this store I think the Zex Fox store also needs access to the dev flash and maybe the Zuko store I can't remember though alright so here we go it's just finished installing Alright, so if you don't see it, uh, the system obviously needs a reboot, so let's go up to here and restart the PS3. Alright, so here we go, we've got this new call boot and sound. So yeah, now you should have the gold store. And there it is, right there. So if you want to download any for the download anything from this, you will need to get the wrap files. Um, but they are broken this way. Uh, but I haven't enabled hen yet, so let me enable hen. Show you. I would make a separate video on how to do the wraps for the gold store, where you can do set one, set two, set three, how it is. Um, but you will need a computer and. Uh, maybe a USB, yeah, and obviously a PS3 as well. Uh, the wraps can work with any of the uh, stores though, once you have them all. Uh, the PKG i ones actually come with the store when you download it, and then if you are on custom farm, what you gotta do is just load up PSN patch, and you know you can follow my tutorial for that and get them signed for. Um, but the gold store ones actually don't work like that. You actually need the wraps to be installed. Which, yeah. But obviously, like I said, if I try and install it, it's broken. There you go, it's broken. And all three of them are broken. Can no longer do it. That's what I'm saying. That's why I think the store went, it obviously went free. Because a lot of things are not working in here. And I know, I know uh, none of the homebrews are working. None of these mod menus work either. They used to, but not anymore. Because if I go to, let's say, um, do, do, do. let's just say I want this, and we go ahead and try and install it, we're going to get an error, which isn't good, unfortunately, because they were some good uh, menus and some good X and B loaders. Obviously, I make them too, so I mean, it's not. And this is for hen only, like, it had its own mod loader and everything. I think it was all bless only, though. And it's broken. Yeah, you'll get that error code too on some of them. This is the one I just showed you. So you get a 4 4 error code as well. That's another error you'll run through. It's probably been deleted, taken down, or it's no longer working like the files corrupted or I don't know but, but you are running the latest 3.8 a lot of the games still work in that but like I said you've got to obtain the licenses to get them to work so if we go ahead and download a small game like let's say I go ahead and get a PS1 game and then we go to PKGs and um, let's just go ahead and, what game do I not have? There's, um, for PS1, uh, do 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 um, 
I don't think I got Resident Evil 2 because obviously I've just put another hard drive in this PS3 a terabyte. So let's go ahead and get this, even though it's 700 and some of the megabytes. So we hit download on that. If it's working, you'll see it like stay on the downloading page for a while. It won't just jump straight to 100 and give you an error. And there's also media file pages connected to the store on some of the links, and they are broken as well. But um, there you go, as this is downloading, we'll see you back once it's done, as it can roughly take 8 minutes. So, yeah. And there you go, it does the installing part as well, which uh, shouldn't take too long. Alright, and there you go, as you can see, it's almost done. And these games will, if they're in bigger in gigabytes, they will take longer and longer. And the Gold Saw doesn't have the best download speed either, it's kind of slow. But there you go, your game is done, and it will appear here, like this. I'm going to go ahead and add that to my... PS1 folders, there you go. But the thing about it is if you click on it and you go to try and load it up, you'll get this right here, which means the wrapped file is missing and it hasn't been signed for. That's why the Gold Store isn't probably the best store to go with, as you need to do the wraps for it. But if you get this game from the PKGI store, and it will work fine. Also check if the wrap isn't there, is it says buyer status restatus status expires and remaining time. So as you can see they're all blank. But if I go down to um let's do all these other ones are literally they're good to go. So let's do uh it's really hard to pick. Uh, so if I show you this one, look at that. That one is working as it says buyer and it says the starts. So, and then remaining time and expires, as you can see. And the same if I show this one as well. So the wrap is missing for it. So if you follow in the next video, I will show you how to um, get the wraps for it but obviously you're going to need a computer it has to be Windows I think actually um, but there is other ways to get wrap files as well like I said and go ahead and get the if the games in the PKGR store and get it from the PKGR store and it should work but there you go everyone that's how to install the gold store on your PS3 hen I don't know if it works for custom firmware higher so I'm just gonna keep it for hen for now but there you go that's how to install it and I hope this tutorial helped you out, and if it did, you can drop me a like, and subscribe if you haven't already, and other than that, I'll see you in the next video. So yeah, bye for now.